And this is all about Jewish presence, about Jews basically having the right to live anywhere. If an Arab wants to sell, why shouldn't you be able to buy? Une fois par semaine, Daniel Louria, guide un groupe de touristes juifs et leur expose le renouveau de la présence juive en vieille ville, dont l'acquisition des hôtels Petra et Imperial est un exemple. Why is the world going crazy about the hotels? The people are writing that you're, what, you're kicking out the Christians? No one's kicking out anyone. When, uh, when an Arab buys a home from a Jew, he's not kicking out the Jew. It's real estate, he's buying a house. We managed to acquire two very big homes hotels or facilitate the acquisitions of two very big hotels at the Jaffa Gate. One of those hotels was a kosher Jewish hotel. It was built and owned by the Amdurski. Before that, a Gibraltar Jew from the name of Amslak in 1820. In between, there was the Greek Orthodox Church. Okay, but now it's back in Jewish hands. But the world jumping up and down, you know what it smells to me like when I hear things like that? The things that they said in Germany, Juden Rhein, the Jews have no right to live in certain areas. Cette entreprise de renaissance juive ne s'arrête pas au quartier. Chrétien. Le gros lot, c'est ce que Daniel Louria appelle le vieux quartier juif. Today, there's a thousand Jews living in the old Jewish quarter. There's 90 families, there's four yeshivas in what is today called the Muslim quarter. Tout autour, la sécurité abonde. Ce que Daniel Louria ne cache pas, Bien au contraire. There's 300 cameras looking at wherever we're going. It's part of the security apparatus. Someone's being taken home, front and back. Right? Parents that want them walking alone. So, front and back. Right? Right, he's come from the Rova, wherever he's come from. And security guards backwards and forwards wow. taking families they need to go. Hmm? Il explique yeah. le rôle de l'organisation no, qu'il dirige yeah. et qui contribue yeah. en coulisses à l'acquisition de biens dans le quartier musulman. We don't just dump a family and say goodbye. We're involved security-wise, we're involved renovation-wise, making the life is as good as possible. So remember, there's two aspects. There's the acquisition someone and then there's various projects. And the people who own it will get a little bit of the rent, so to speak, together with Atarit Konim. Would you like to live here? I'm not sure. I like that. You think before you answer. But it's the standard building in relation to, oh, families, courtyard, security cameras, and uh, a rooftop playground because kids don't play in the streets yet. The Turkish general that used to live here uh, in the Ottoman Empire tied his horse, for example, here. Eventually, there were half a dozen Arab families living here. We had the right person at the right time without going into details about the middlemen, as you know, that we have to use. And we ended up buying this place. And about six months ago, we finished off the building. And now there's five families living in the complex. You drove away one family. We'll add five. This was the response to the murder of Rabbi Nehemi Lavi and the driving out of one Jewish family. If you want real security, double and triple the Jewish presence. 